back on one of the Internet's most popular sites, MySpace.com. Well, the attacks are tasteless, sometimes X-rated, and they're illegal, too. This has serious implications for Internet security. Fox Fox's Brett Larson shows you why. Brett. Hey, Rosanna, it's an easy way to share your photos and music and stay in touch with your friends, but some hackers have found a way to turn tens of thousands of MySpace pages into their own personal sounding board. It's an unprecedented attack on MySpace, a social networking website with more than 100 million users. I'm one. I am many. That's a message the attackers have left, hacking into 70,000 MySpace accounts using stolen passwords. It's harassing. It's, it's scary. Personal information on MySpace pages altered with racist and obscene messages, most too graphic to be used on TV. There are threats of rape, references to swastikas, and Nazis, invitations to join the KKK. In most cases, they're kids with proper adult supervision that are getting coerced by you know, people that are, are not people you want influencing your kids. This computer security consultant doesn't want to be identified, concerned about cyber retaliation. In this case, people that are deliberately going after people that are in the military, they're deliberately going after young girls. They're deliberately going after people that they just, you know, think that they want to pick on. It goes way beyond anything that is just simple harassment. It's just, it's beyond what you want to imagine can happen to your own identity online. MySpace, which is owned by Fox 5 parent company News Corp, says the safety and security of our users is a top priority for MySpace. This attack was a criminal act. We're making every effort to identify and block the spread of these images on MySpace. We've also reached out to law enforcement. According to computer experts, what this demonstrates in a real basic way is the vulnerability of the Internet to attack. It's so easy to break into one of these systems that uh, really anyone can do it. Professor Ahmad Sahai of UCLA says we need urgent national action to create a secure Internet. So they're demonstrating the vulnerability that we really have in our infrastructure. Uh, if these same vulnerabilities are, are being exploited by foreign governments or Al-Qaeda or organized crime, then they can wreak serious havoc on our, uh, on our way of life. The high points to this study from 2005 by the President's Information Technology Advisory Committee calling for more research dollars, more recruiting of researchers, and faster transfers of new technology to the private sector. All this is needed right away. But Zahai says not enough is being done, and these are the consequences. Now, one of the best ways to avoid something like this is making your password difficult for someone else to guess, but easy for you to remember. And also, be mindful of those scam emails from people asking for your username and password. No one will ever request your username or password by email or by telephone, so don't fall for it. Rick, Rosanna, thanks. All right, good advice, Brett. Thanks very much. Here now with a look ahead at what's going